Right, so in this tutorial, I'm going to do the sketching process. So the first thing I want to do when I do my sketching process is I want to establish a, a length and height for my character. Now typically um, you have like, let's say this is like, well first I want to capture the overall move of my character. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of imagine this as a line. You really want to try to capture some nice gesture line. A gesture, remember gesture means S shapes, C shapes, opposite C's and stuff like that. So you want a lot of movement like that with your with your shapes. So I'm going to kind of do a overall C shape for my character here. Something like that there. And I just put down way too much line, so I'm going to erase some of it. Now once I have the, um, make sure all this is in camera. Oh, I can't see. Okay, once I have the basic shape here, the C shape, then we're going to go ahead and get started. So, I know about the halfway point is the typical part for the mid the midsection. And I'm actually make the midsection maybe a little bit higher than halfway point, which is, you know, gives it kind of a cool look. Make the head small enough to fit so you have about four head lengths in that top area. Then I know I want my shoulders width to be kind of small, kind of maybe angled up a little bit, so I'll just kind of draw that line. Again, about the same head length, you have one, two, and you know, I might have to make this a little bit shorter, but I don't want to, so two, and then I'm gonna have three sections, so right about here is where I need the waist. So I'm gonna bring the legs down just a little bit longer than that, then about down to there. Okay, so now I have the measuring points, everything I need, I, I need to get started. From this point here, I'm going to draw the I'm going to draw the widest part of the hips, kind of coming across like that. And I kind of want to add in the shape already. I'm kind of going to be doing a mix um, between anatomy and other techniques, gesture techniques, anatomy techniques, um, and also, of course, the basic basic shapes, your mannequin shapes. And so for the arms, I'll probably just do half a mix between mannequin shapes and sorry mannequin shapes and ge um, not gesture anatomy so I'm kinda just hint at where the thumbs gonna be and I kinda want you know hint at where the fingers are gonna be there rolled over making a fist kinda want the shoulder to be kinda coming up and in overlapping the bicep that part coming there. And I think this is gonna, you know, once you're in this stage, it really doesn't really matter who it is you're drawing. Obviously, it kind of you kind of want to have an idea of who it is you're drawing because different characters move differently and stuff. And so I kind of already had an idea who I wanted in this character, and that is um, Roxy Spaulding from Gen 13. I've never actually drawn her or drawn her before, so kind of want to do that triangle dealio there. I think she's typically slightly smaller breasted, so I kind of want to stick to that. Her true character there. I don't want to. I don't want to give her too large a breast, considering that she doesn't have. Okay, actually, all that should be closer over here. something right around here that should work and then I can really kind of bring that shoulder back behind there and I can kind of imagine where the arms will be coming down and that way I can kind of do some forearm back here that might be covered by other things and then have her other fist this way I'm trying to add, you know, movement here within these areas and the lines and stuff. I know I'm gonna be able to see part of the side of her there. Imagine that. <coughs> Excuse me. The center line coming down the breast, and then here. And I want to kind of twist a little bit this way. Kind of tweak that center line because whenever you don't want it to be too straight, you want to have a lot of curve to it. And this breast, you know, is gonna be kind of resting on top of the rib cage a little bit there. I'm going to kind of bring that rib cage like that and then come down for her and her, her waist will start right around here. 
I really want to, um, she also doesn't have that big of hips, so I don't want to exaggerate them too much. Again, I want to kind of stay true to her character. That widest part, you know, would be where her legs and hips come out around here, so I kind of want to just do this shape, and I don't want to get too wide with it. I kind of like lumping that whole shape together, then coming down where the knees are going to be, and then kind of lumping those bottom legs like that. That way, kind of have a good idea where she's going to be kind of add some lines so I don't forget to do her powers with her hands. And I can start now erasing a lot of this stuff that I, I'm not going to need. And that, you know, once you're happy with kind of the all the shapes you've laid down, you can start erasing a lot of the under parts you're not going to need in the drawing, like so. Make sure it's all still in the cam. It should be. Sorry, the cam's kind of slightly rocking back and forth. I have my fan on, and I think it's that little bit of air is enough to keep the camera just slightly rocking back and forth. I'm trying to fix it, but touching it just makes it worse, it looks like. So hopefully it doesn't interfere too much. I know about where I need her belly button to be. And that, that kind of rib cage will be coming up back there. And a little bit below, I'm going to kind of ha start having her pants in there somewhere like so. And I kind of want that to be wide as well, because I kind of wa what I want to do is I want to kind of have this kind of look. And that line, you don't want to cut a, cut a leg in half with, the, with wrinkles and lines too much, so. And I know her leg is connected here, so I kind of want to imagine that and then draw the leg coming down into there somewhere. I should probably be drawing with this harder lead, which is on this particular pencil right now. Harder lead means it, it comes out lighter. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end up overlapping this, but I still want to draw where it's going to be. And, I, and I remember, we talked about drawing through your characters. So that's what I'm going to be doing right now. I'm going to be drawing through my character. Even though I'm going to be going over a lot of that, I still want it to appear on there. Know what lines to bring through or not. And then her foot coming down there somewhere. Now this leg right here is the one that's going to be kind of coming over right now. And I'm going to kind of start doing some anatomy to the leg as well. So it's kind of bring it like this. And then I know the knee. Just trying to think of how far I want the knee to come down, how long this needs to be to look right. Probably don't need her leg to be that wide. You know, so although she is kind of buffing the legs, she's kind of a buffer character when it comes to her legs, I guess. I kind of I want that inner leg, that inner that inner muscle that comes around here. I really want to show that by overlapping that, and come with her knee, and something like that. It's all coming together. Her knee like this. There might be some parts I have to forward, uh, fast forward, on the video, and so it'll be like in fast forward. Now, notice this is the hip. It's all stationary, one piece then this is the leg coming off the hip so you can show that by having that dip and then coming with the actual leg itself and you know what that's not right still something's just the anatomy is not right here so what I need to do is get back to the basics think about muscles and bones so you have that muscle coming off here into the kneecap kneecaps will be kind of longer on that side then you'll have that bigger muscle coming off like that, and that muscle rolling. You'll have a slight dent here, like so. So I'm thinking that's about right. Hips gonna kind of come like that, maybe higher, because the hip bone's more up here, so it's gonna be pushed out like that. Almost like that underwear, like how you have. And there's a slight dip there. And it doesn't matter, a lot of that I'm going to be covering up anyway with uh, material. 
and so this leg is um, it's most of this is for short and you might be able to see a little bit of the calf right here you know the foot's going to be coming right about here and so you can begin to draw the foot out you might just be able to see the tip of the foot like that and uh, I'm not sure what she's going to be wearing I don't, I don't know what, what typically I don't even know what her costume really looks like I just know I like her in general she's cool I've seen the cartoon a few times never actually uh, read one of the comic books though but I have seen the comic or the like I said the cartoon a few times and I like her character she looks really cool she had a cool personality reminds me of Rogue and I like I like Rogue as well from X-Men okay so something like that and then from here it's just a matter of you know I don't really know exactly what her face looks like so I'll probably have to get a reference for that I think she has more of a kidder, kitty rounder face head so I could probably already start to put that in there and the nose and the mouth area it's good to kinda you know little guidelines so you kinda know where to go and once you have this down here this you know this basic stuff you can begin to add some anatomy but basically once you have this much detail down you can really turn this into anybody you know, as long as the pose makes sense for the character that's that's obviously important so if the pose makes sense for the character you can really turn it to any character you want you know, once you reach this point here and you know I'm thinking I'm, I might be able to see let's see how this should all look here that top shoulder I kinda wanna bring it here and I kinda bring it up at this stage here you kinda wanna bring a lot of anatomy into it so I know that you're gonna have this kinda part of the breast muscle for a guy that normally come here it's also you know it's not absent on a girl it's still there she have her armpit muscle in there her tricep I, I don't think I don't think um, Roxy has that big a muscle so you can always tone it down but when I'm doing the anatomy I like to really throw the muscle muscles in there so you have that slight part there and it all starts coming together again I want to kind of show the ribs kind of coming up that way and that way the ab muscles coming down that shape there right so I had to put the last part in fast forward you know and unfortunately my camera actually died uh, while recording the last part so you don't get to see the thing to its completion you'll, you'll get to see the final drawing but um, you don't get to see the final part you know what and also I had my fan turned on while I was recording this so because I have the camera hanging you know it's kinda of blowing back and forth and now when sped up that back and forth sway is kinda of annoying because it's like swaying a lot but anyway I thought I'd go ahead and include this last part just so you can see some of the process that you know how how I went into and added these final little details basically um, whenever I'm working on paper and uh, the heads quite small you can see the heads very tiny there it's like the size of my thumb then I, I use a mechanical pencil a small mechanical mechanical pencil with uh, soft lead in it which I buy f you know online from an art store and that way I can get the small little details I need in the face it takes a certain kind of art and practice though to get to the point where you can draw decent looking faces that are so tiny it, it's really recommended obviously to draw um, larger if you can the problem is though even if you're drawing if you're drawing by pencil even if you're drawing a you're on, on really large artboard your panels are still quite small so your heads are still pretty small and so either way no matter how you do it if you're going to be working with pencil and inks you have to get used to drawing heads that are like the size of your pinky and the size of your thumb and so you can't put all the detail you want into them unless it's a close-up of the, of the face but it kinda does teach you to minimize details and that's it thank you for watching